Before diving into writing our own color scheme, let's investigate what color scheme command does. For example, color scheme group box. We know that the color changes, but what does it do to change the color? What happens here is that it simply looks for groupbox.vim inside colors folder in your runtime path. First one it finds, it sources it. So here I create a plugin called color and inside colors folder I have color.vim. So when the user runs color scheme color, it should run this file. Inside color.vim, I am just echoing some string for now. You can see that it sourced the color.vim correctly. What happens if you have color.lua instead? It seems like color.lua is also fine. So what happens if you have both the color.vim and color.lua? In that case, it only runs the vim file and not lua file. Another thing you need to do is change the global variable called color's name. Otherwise, when we call color scheme, the current color scheme will not be displayed as color. As you can see, it is displayed as default. This time, the initial color is default. After running this file, the color scheme correctly displays as color.